What if I told you there exists a hole so deep, it's said to be bottomless, and the tales around it are as mysterious as the hole itself? Welcome to the Enigma of Mel's Hole, a fascinating puzzle of nature, nestled away in the quiet, rural landscapes of Washington State. This isn't your everyday hole in the ground, it's a phenomenon that has sparked curiosity, incited debate, and inspired a multitude of theories. The man who brought this oddity to public attention is Mel Waters. He was a seemingly ordinary man with an extraordinary tale to tell. One day, Mel casually mentioned his peculiar property on a popular radio show, and thus, the legend of Mel's Hole was born. Mel claimed that the hole on his property was of an unfathomable depth. No matter how much line he lowered, he could never touch bottom. In fact, he once dropped 20 spools of fishing line, each one 5,000 feet long, and still found no end. That's the equivalent of nearly 19 miles deep. But the depth isn't the only thing that's peculiar about this hole. Mel's hole, as per Mel's claims, has some strange properties that defy the laws of physics. For instance, Mel noticed that when he threw trash into the hole, he'd never hear it hit the bottom. No splash, no crash, no echo, just silence. It's as if the hole swallowed everything whole, never to be seen or heard of again. It's easy to dismiss such claims as tall tales or figments of an overactive imagination. But Mel's Hole is not just a story. It's a tangible, physical anomaly that exists in our world. It's a place that invites us to question what we know and explore the unknown, to delve into the depths of mystery and come out with more questions than answers. But the mystery of Mel's Hole doesn't stop at its unfathomable depth, it only begins there. So let's dive deeper into the enigma that is Mel's Hole and see just how far down the rabbit hole goes. As the story of Mel's Hole began to spread, so did the bizarre tales and experiences associated with it. Mel Waters, the man who first brought this enigma into public consciousness, had more to share. His claims only deepened the mystery as they veered into the realm of the inexplicable and the uncanny. Mel spoke of objects disappearing into the abyss never to be seen or heard from again. He mentioned how he once lowered a hefty car tire into the hole, only for it to vanish without a trace. There was no sound, no splash, no impact. As far as Mel was concerned, the hole was seemingly bottomless. Then there was the curious case of the radio waves. Mel claimed that radio waves didn't seem to penetrate the hole's depths. He had tried lowering a radio down, tuned to a local station. As the radio descended the signal faded until it was swallowed entirely by an eerie silence. But why? What about this hole could seemingly absorb radio waves? But perhaps the most chilling story Mel shared, was that of his deceased pet. According to Mel, he had lowered the body of his recently passed dog into the hole, only for it to return alive and well, days later. It was a tale that defied logic and understanding, yet Mel stood by his story. As these tales circulated, public interest in Mel's hole swelled. People were intrigued, fascinated, and understandably skeptical. The claims were extraordinary after all. Some dismissed Mel as a storyteller spinning tales for attention, Others believed him, captivated by the eerie allure of the unexplainable. Yet the intrigue surrounding Mel's Hole wasn't just limited to the public. Scientists, too, were drawn in, eager to investigate these claims. The government as well had taken an interest in this mysterious hole in the ground. But just when you think the story couldn't get any more peculiar, it does. In every great mystery, there's always a shadowy figure lurking in the background. In the case of Mel's Hole, it's none other than the U.S. government. Our story takes a turn here where Mel's peaceful life on his Washington property gets disrupted. Mel claimed that he was approached by folks who identified themselves as government representatives. Their interest? The very hole that had piqued the curiosity of the entire world. Mel alleged that these officials forced him off his property, effectively seizing control of the land where the hole was located. But why would the government be interested in a seemingly ordinary hole, you might ask? Well, that's where things get even more intriguing. Mel believed that the government was aware of the hole's extraordinary depth and its potential implications. Was it a gateway to another dimension, a tunnel to the center of the earth, or perhaps a repository of secrets best left undiscovered? The possibilities appeared endless and evidently too irresistible for the powers that be. The government's purported land grab raises questions. Was it a strategic move to keep the public in the dark, or was there a legitimate national security concern? Mel's hole after all was no ordinary pit, its inexplicable depth and the strange phenomena reported around it were enough to warrant a closer look. This alleged government intervention added a new dimension to the enigma of Mel's hole. 
It painted a picture of a clandestine operation, a cover-up of sorts. But was it really? The government for its part has never officially acknowledged any involvement in the Mel's Hole saga. Mel's claims, though unverified, stirred the pot, adding fuel to the fire of speculation and conspiracy theories. The government's silence on the other hand has only served to deepen the mystery. So was it all a cover-up or just another layer to an already complex mystery? As we delve deeper into the enigma of Mel's Hole the lines between fact and fiction continue to blur. But one thing's for sure, the hole's secrets are as deep and dark as its seemingly bottomless pit. With such extraordinary claims it was only a matter of time before the scientific community took notice. And indeed they did. The enigma of Mel's Hole caught the interest of many leading to a series of investigations to unearth its secrets. The first challenge was to measure the depth of this mysterious pit. Traditional methods proved futile. Even the most advanced sonar technology which can map the deepest ocean trenches returned no conclusive data. The depth of Mel's Hole it seemed was beyond our current comprehension. Various attempts to lower equipment into the abyss resulted in lost gear, and more questions than answers. Despite the inconclusive results, the investigators were not deterred. They continued to devise new methods and techniques hoping to penetrate the mystery of Mel's Hole. But each attempt was met with the same outcome. The hole's depth remained elusive, its secrets locked away in the dark, out of reach. The scientific community faced numerous challenges during these investigations. The hole's inexplicable properties defied logical explanation and existing scientific knowledge. The lack of concrete evidence only added to the complexity of the situation. Yet these challenges did not dampen the investigators' spirits. Instead, they fueled their curiosity, pushing them to dig deeper, figuratively speaking. The public's fascination with Mel's Hole also continued to grow. The mystery surrounding the hole's depth, its strange effects on the surrounding environment, and the government's involvement captured the imagination of many. Rumors and speculations spread like wildfire, adding to the enigma of Mel's Hole. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the scientific investigation into Mel's Hole has provided valuable insights into the limits of our understanding and technology. It serves as a constant reminder that there are still mysteries in this world that remain unexplained, waiting to be discovered. The whole, it seems, was not ready to give up its secrets. And so, the quest to unravel the mystery of Mel's Hole continues captivating scientists and the public alike as we all wait for the day when the whole finally reveals its secrets. Years have passed since Mel Waters first told the world about his mysterious hole, yet its allure remains as strong as ever. The hole, a supposed never-ending pit in the heart of Washington state, has intrigued, mystified, and even terrified those who dare to delve into its enigma. The fascination with Mel's hole has not waned over the years but rather, has intensified. It has stirred the imaginations of countless people around the globe, sparking wild theories and speculations. Some suggest it's a gateway to another dimension, others believe it's a dumping ground for extraterrestrial waste, and there are those who think it's a secret government project gone awry. The lack of tangible evidence to validate any of these theories only adds to the captivating mystery of Mel's Hole. This enduring enigma has found its way into the world of pop culture too. It has inspired a number of books, documentaries, and even a feature film. From TV shows to internet forums, the story of Mel's Hole continues to capture the public's imagination, serving as a testament to the insatiable human curiosity for the unexplained and the unknown. Despite the numerous scientific investigations, the government's involvement and the public's relentless quest for answers, the mystery of Mel's Hole remains unsolved. The absence of any definitive answers only fuels the fascination. It's almost as if the hole has a life of its own, a dark charisma that continues to draw people in. As we delve into the depth of Mel's Hole we find ourselves not closer to the bottom, but rather deeper into the enigma that it is. The legacy of Mel's Hole isn't in the answers it provides but in the questions it continues to pose, the imaginations it continues to ignite, and the conversations it continues to inspire. The story of Mel's Hole is a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown, the unexplained, and the unfathomable. 